don't cry, sunshine. I won't leave you alone. Go through the turnstile. Throw me a stern smile before you go. Showtime. Hey, I'm James, and this is Hotter Ones, my interview show with the twist. Tonight in the hot seat, we've got Michael Daughtry in the drift. Michael on vocals and guitar. Howdy. Kevin on bass and Beasley on drums. Uh, we're going to do a wing challenge and see what happens. You guys ready? Uh, ready? Sure. Let's do it. Why not? Hotter ones. <laughs> sure. All right. So, JJ, uh, our first sauce up is Texas Pete Buffalo Wing Sauce. It's uh, checking in on the Scoville scale around 1,500 Scoville units. Uh, we're going to try that one out and see what happens. You guys ready? We're ready. Sure. Let's do it. All right. Okay. Texas Pete. I love Texas Pete. It's like the ketchup of Texas, basically. Uh, <laughs> from North Carolina. Tasty. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, real quick, I'm going to throw in a couple of plugs. I forgot to do this last time. Sorry, Mike Baker. Um, first of all, X-Bomb Energy Drink. Made in the USA. Mike Baker, Regional Sales Manager. Uh, you can get this stuff from him. Contact him on Facebook. Uh, made in the USA. It's better than Red Bull. It tastes mm -hmm. better than Red Bull. And it, it's just a great product. Uh, and uh, 22 clicks uh, from Hope Mills. 3109 North Main Street have supplied the wings tonight. Uh, my man Chris Scroggins in the background there. He uh, actually prepared them and cooked them. <laughs> Supporting 22 clicks tonight. And uh, we want to thank you guys for that. Uh, and actually, Chris made one of our hot sauces tonight. Uh, five alarm habanero. We're going to try that out and see what happens. <laughs> All right, so we're going to ask the first question and go from there. You guys All ready? Right, sure. All right, so uh, Michael Daughtry and the Drift, how did that come about? How long have you guys been together? Uh, let's talk about that for a second. Well, um, Kevin and I have kind of been playing off and on since high school, which is quite a while. Let's just say quite a while. So um, he was playing the riff to Sweet Child of Mine back nice. in the day, and I thought, well, this guy, you know, started out on guitar. And I started out on keyboards, so uh, we had sort of a different band going on. What was the name? Was it Soundquake? Soundquake. 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 Nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah I like Early that. Early nineties, you know, kind of that 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 sound. Was uh, it like a, a garage band? Yeah, kind yeah, of? pretty garage <coughs> sound and kind of uh, you know, little punk grunge sound that we had going on. Some of everything. You know? Very cool. I think we had a we had a good variety going. So, um, but known him and been playing back and forth. Uh, for quite a while, uh, met Beasley through a buddy of ours named Jason Cecil, who is in, uh, he plays with a lady named Heather Kenny, who's like a sort of a Mar Americana artist. Um, he uh, actually, just to, just to sort of, you know, tell it like it is, Jason was sort of at first who we were approaching and stuff, and he's like, I'm busy with this other thing, but I know this guy and come to find out we knew him or didn't know him but we knew a lot of the same people because he's actually from sort of in our area from elizabethtown very cool uh so yeah so, so current uh lineup how long have you guys been together like about, about a year about, about a year, year. Yeah. okay very cool yeah. uh all right i like it man i dig it i, I I'm, I'm digging the sound it's like it's along Sweet. my lines man it's uh you know it's awesome music um so our next wing up is uh actually chris scroggins uh designed this hot sauce created it whatever you want to call it it's uh, a <laughs> five alarm habanero uh from the kitchen at 22 clicks uh it, chris you want to talk about this hot sauce for a second and you know like it's a to tell it's got um American Carolina Mason. Reaper, ghost pepper habanero serranos and cayenne that's the five peppers that are in it it's warm are you gonna hurt us? With no, this? no. Okay. This is tasty. Warm. Yeah, it's a good. Okay. I got to try. It. Okay. It only jumps up twelve is. times the last one. You know. <laughs> not that bad. Not that bad. <laughs> All right. So, uh, so five alarm habanero. We'll hit that up. We'll ask another question. Uh, right. Now, you guys don't have to eat the whole wing. Okay. Uh, it's up to you. Take a bite. Right. Good. <laughs> Especially these are right here. I'm gonna be. You like, don't have to tell me twice. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right, guys. So uh, we're gonna hit up a uh, five alarm habanero, All and uh, right. we'll ask another question. See what happens. You guys ready? Yes, sir. All right. Let's do it. All right. Five arm habanero. Cheers. 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 All right, guys. Here we go. This one brings the heat. Mm. <coughs> Good job, Chris. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the second sauce, the hottest sauce we have. We got some other stuff if you get creative up there. We do a wing night. I'm good. Get <laughs> right, right. Also, real quick, 22 clicks. Uh, they uh, showcase local talent. Uh, 
music. Uh, they have bands, uh, local musicians. Uh, now, is there a certain spotlight, or are they just uh, on the weekends, or? Friday and Saturday nights, we have live music. Yeah, very cool. Hmm. All right, yeah, so uh, check them out. 22 clicks. These are some good wings. Hmm. All right, it's getting hot. All right, so. All right, tolerance to pain. Let's talk about that for a second. Uh, we'll, we'll go left to right. Wait for Kevin to finish up there. <laughs> you, you got a towel on the back. You got your towel? Okay, all right. Good. All right, guys. So, uh, uh, Michael, we'll start with you. Tolerance to pain. Like, uh, do you like hot stuff? Do you eat spicy food? I mean, what, what are you like as I, far as that goes? I have, well, sort of like bowling. Um, I either have a really good game or a really bad game. Just depending on the day. My, my wife, she, she tends to like spicier foods. And, um, she had some. Uh, she had, she had some Indian. She's she's actually a podiatrist, and they have these doctors' meetings once a month. And she went to an Indian restaurant in Cary, and they had lamb vindaloo. So Ooh. if you've ever had vindaloo, like authentic vindaloo, wow, it is truly truly spicy. Like but curry? Yeah, yeah, it's like a curry. It's like super curry, but um, really good. So so I handled that really well. But then the next day, like you know, if you, something like. If I, something like jalapeno can just like yeah. set my fields on fire, mm -hmm. it just depends. So, kind of, I'm either like up here or what's field. There's no in between. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. What about you, Kevin? Uh, not so much. Not so much. <laughs> <in Boston. laughs> how, how are you feeling? The five alarm having the air right now. You good? She's, she's warm. Yeah, it's it's got some heat. Mm. Yeah. All right. Uh, some Beasley? lasting heat. Mm -hmm. yeah. I used to love probably further up the scale when I was younger, but now that I've gotten further along in life, my tolerance level has dipped tremendously, so I can feel the heat on that one. Yeah, it's like me, It's uh, I used mm -hmm. to hate hot sauce, and uh, actually, the funny thing is, I had uh, food poisoning one time, and uh, I don't know why, but my ex-wife brought me nachos from Moe's, oh, wow. and they actually had jalapenos on them, and I hated like fresh slice. Like, yeah, the slice, yeah, yeah. yeah. and um, I actually, in my ignorance, ate the nachos and the jalapenos, and they were actually good, right. and I liked it, so... So yeah, that kind of is where I got started. Uh, this is kind of crazy. Uh, actually, there is a YouTube video that tells you the benefits of eating hot sauce. It's mm -hmm. actually good for you, believe it or not. Oh, I believe it, yeah. It, it, but, you know, it can be bad as well. So uh, that being said, we're gonna move on to the next wing, which is, uh, JJ, uh, you know, we're trying to keep this like toned down a little bit tonight, you know, <laughs> language-wise, yeah. We're not trying to, you know. Oh, I thought you meant toned down like with the thing. That's oh, no, good too. No, that's no, good too. No, 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 that's not gonna happen. Yeah, yeah. So, so the most important thing about Hotter Ones, it's an interview show. You know, I like having you guys in here, you know, Absolutely. and uh, I appreciate you showing up. And Our pleasure. we're going to make it about the interview, man. Yeah. And um, so, JJ, uh, this hot sauce tastes like this word right here that's on the front of the bottle. All right. All right. You guys know that already. Yes. All right. So uh, that is a habanero based. Uh, we'll skip back to Chris's sauce. It, it's around, uh, I'd say, 300,000 Scoville units, maybe 400,000, uh, depending on, you know, what you get in it. Um, this is about 350,000. Uh, this hot sauce, you know, tastes like what it does, and uh, we'll hit that up and go from there. You guys, again, you don't have to eat the whole wing, man, just All a right. bite, and we'll go from there. Okay. All right, you guys ready? All right, ready. All right, let's do it. Uh, this sauce I got from Hot Sauce Mall, uh, a good friend of mine, Drake. All right, here we go. You ready? All right. Ready? All right. Oh. <coughs> that, that's like a, what Chris Grogan's would call a creeper. <coughs> Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> There's that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. We got some peppers too. Oh, wow. That's. I might just eat one to be over here and spare it with y'all. You know. That's just crazy talk. <laughs> oh, that's hot. Yeah. Oh. You're just gonna chase. You're gonna chase the burn. I'm just warning you guys. All right. So we're gonna jump right into the next question. Uh, okay. All right, guys. So. Are you guys, do you guys uh, tour? I mean, are you more of a, like a weekend get together kind of band? Like, uh, do you well, have certain yes venues? Yes, all of that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's we'll yes. elaborate on that left to right. Go ahead, Michael. So I would say that we, we've done some tours. We've done some mini tours. Um, usually every year we go down to Charleston and we play the Cooper River Bridge Run. Nice. Which is the third largest uh, run in marathon in the country. There's usually around 50,000 to 60,000 runners coming at you. Oh, wow. <laughs> down okay. the bridge, down the Cooper River Bridge, and, and we usually play a string of gigs. 
like in the Charleston Savannah area um, we do that every year um, we of course because we are a little bit you know more mature and, and some of us have uh, day jobs and things like that we, oh, we, yeah. we tend to more play on the weekends um, we actually have a uh, a gig this weekend in Durham and then one in Raleigh, so it's, it's hot. It's, <laughs> that stuff is hot. See, in Zen mood. Yeah. Well, wow. <laughs> oh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt your man. No, no, no. <coughs> so, stealing. Well, I'm doing all the time. No, absolutely. Anyway. No, but yeah, that's very cool, man. Like, so the biggest crowd, I mean, you theoretically or possibly a play to is like in the thousands. Yep. That's awesome, man. It's, it's, yeah, it's yeah. pretty surreal. Not many people yeah. get to do that. They you know, don't. On it's, that level. It's a that's true, awesome, man. It's, it's, a, it's a wonderful thing and a blessing. And, and something that uh Ooh, that's know, hot it's sort mm-hmm. of like you know when you ride a roller coaster and that night or you go to an amusement park and then that night like you, you're in bed and you just kind of feel like you're still on the, yeah, on the adrenaline yeah that's a lot how playing for thousands and thousands of people i can't like to me like you, you sort of go to bed that night and you're like uh, i can't sleep <laughs> oh yeah it's like i can't wait <laughs> to see guys play feeling. live but it's i've, I've had feel. those kind of feelings yeah, yeah. But sometimes it's the opposite of a roller coaster roller coaster you're riding up and you're like why am I doing this? <laughs> you have fun in the show, but in the end, when you have to tear down all the equipment and get loaded up and get to the next yeah. city, you're asking that same question: Why am I doing this? Uh, and I've felt yeah. we're not at that level. Yeah, I've felt yeah. band do that. Bands do that. The PA systems are not light; they're heavy. Right. Yeah. Exactly. And you and if yeah. it's your own PA, you, you yeah. you're like, okay, this has got to last us a long time. Yeah, so be careful. Yeah. 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 Don't yeah. drop that. Don't drop that. <laughs> all right, Kevin. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Beasley? <laughs> I guess, so kids. Yeah, to getting up at uh, three to go wait under a bridge for the said marathon with the FBI bomb checks and everything. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah that's oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And all that stuff. These days, you have to yeah. get up like super early and the yeah. FBI comes around and sniffs in your car. Did you have an issue two years ago? You, with uh, yeah. Well, <laughs> a buddy of ours, I, I, I won't say his name, but a buddy of ours like sort of went shooting like the day before <laughs> and had some yeah. residue, some gun residue. I mean, and he's just like, you know, country Joe, like just goes out and shoots yeah. guns. So, but the FBI didn't know that. They're like, there's resid- gun residue <laughs> in your car. Like, <laughs> so, I get, you know. Exactly. Well, we're from North Carolina, like, you know, I, but anyway. I've got Johnson kind of a funny story. Uh, we'll, we'll let Beasley, uh, you know, t- give his uh, input. And then uh, I've got kind of a funny story, like relating to what you just cool. said. But, all right, Beasley, go ahead, man. Yeah, well, I mean, it's kind of what I was saying earlier. It's just we don't have road crews. We don't have – we're doing it all ourselves. Yeah, it's fun. Everything. It's no problem when you're setting up. It's the teardown when you're – Tired. you got people that want to talk to you and, and discuss shows and music, and you're like – It's like, I love you, but, I you know, get out of here. we're tired. Be, you know, yeah, that tall. energy level, you have to kind of keep it up. Mm-hmm. I mean, you got to eat your Wheaties. And this is not a, pro, a plug for Wheaties. Right? That's, that's an expression we used to use, yeah. right? Yeah, Wheaties, copyright infringement, we're good. <laughs> Sponsoring the show, Wheaties. That was just, right. you know, you used to use, use expressions back in the day. That was always one we used to say. You better eat your Wheaties. You know? Yeah, yeah, and we're <laughs> all like, pretty, yeah, we're all about the same age. I'm 45. Yeah. Uh, Seven. Yeah, so we're all in the same, you know, we all grew up in the same yes. era, you know. Yes. So. You know, 20 years ago, you could drink all night and still make it to the next gig, but now you and have work to all know day. what your limits yeah. are. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man, I, I can't do that anymore, yeah. I can barely do this. So what's your story? All right, so uh, so my dad, uh, my father, he uh, he died uh, in 10 years ago. Uh, yeah, well, I appreciate that. Um, and uh, as a kid, I always, like, I camped and hunted, and he always had guns and knives and everything. And uh, my mother, uh, he we're from here. Okay. So uh, I was living in Florida at the time. Uh, there was a memorial for him here. And uh, my mom, uh, they, he drove a Ford Focus. So basically, to make a long story even longer, uh, she brought all his guns and knives in the trunk of the car to give to me and, and my oldest son. And, um, well, we didn't take him out of the car before we went on Fort Bragg for the memorial service. And, and you know, Fort Bragg, they don't play around. It's like... Uh, Not even a little. Yeah, so uh, luckily enough, uh, we there was the... Uh, the sticker on the front of the car, the Department of Defense, you know, where you can like just get waved through the thing. And luckily enough, that sticker got us through the checkpoint. And but if not, man, we, yeah, I'd be doing wow. federal time right now, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was a so little scary. That's a, you know, just barely getting by kind of thing. But yeah, I mean, it's like a they even at a like you you've got your CDL right, Beasley. Right. Yeah, and, and you know, and I've driven trucks most of my life, and it's not an easy thing to get. And if you lose it, it's yeah. even harder to get it back. But like you hit a way station these days, they X-ray yeah. the truck. Yep. You know, they don't play around. You know, it's like a... 
Yeah, yeah, that makes to, sense because uh, you can fit a lot in a truck. If you need a hazardous material endorsement, you got to go get fingerprinted and yeah. make sure you're not a terrorist. Hazmat used to be ten buck endorsement. Now it's like a hundred bucks and a background mm -hmm. check. Okay. Yeah. So, so uh, our next wing up is. Uh, hey James, I'm sorry. I know you can edit this out, but when you're talking who, when you're talking about the uh, the marathon, the, who's got the marathon that where they they like every so often they got like bands playing in the in the rock and roll marathon. Is that you? We did that the next day. That was in Raleigh. Raleigh. Oh yeah, well, we, we do, do it all Raleigh over, too. but they're not doing it in Raleigh anymore. But oh, okay. uh, Chris, you all right, bro? Yeah, I didn't know that was. I was. I was, <laughs> I was just in Nashville. Um, I want to try that shit. And it was yeah. going on. You know, we, 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 give me one. There, Fuck yeah, it, we, it was. We played it the first part of April, and when I got there, I'm like, oh no, the rock and roll marathon's going on. Yeah. So right, well, we'll, we'll save it. Yeah. Uh, okay, we'll save it as like as the mystery wing challenge or the pepper. We'll do it that way. How about that? No, you was talking shit. I was talking shit. All right. So what is this called? It's a dragon cayenne. Dragon cayenne pepper the from Chris Grogan's kitchen. I might try that later. <laughs> You're the expert. <laughs> All right, guys. So uh, it's about hill in it. It's, yeah. about, it's about to, I mean, so we're on Here's wing. Where we do tiny bites. Yeah, that looks kind of pasty. All right, so uh, next up is, uh, wait for Chris to... Get comfortable there. Sorry. No, you're good, man. Shit, it's all right. We love you, Chris. And by get comfortable, means you get the hell out of with the your Nike <laughs> flip flops. <laughs> <laughs> right, so that's not gonna be on camera. Uh, I can't, can't have any cursing. The publicity. Yeah, on there. I can't be all like, nobody can curse, and then I drop an F. -bomb but the thing is, like, something, something I would <laughs> I like can, to because my mom doesn't have something yeah, I would like to try. Job. Like, actually, it would be kind of funny. <laughs> like, I've got editing software. If I could right. figure out a way to put like a. Brent Underwood was like a oh, put yeah. a chicken noise or something whenever somebody curses. Yeah. Or like I can blur the mouth out, you know? Like yeah, yeah. yeah, you should uh, just do the audio through like a, some software to start yeah. with and then you could just edit it. Well, that's why yeah, I I've like got all that Kimmel stuff. stuff is for, maybe it's Kimmel. It's somebody who like shows edited and they filming, actually right? don't. Yeah, okay. They're not cursing, but mm -hmm. then they show, they make oh, it yeah, look they like they're cursing. Like cursing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just bleep that's out random That's the funniest thing, because yeah. your, your imagination goes, and you're like, oh, my gosh, it sounded like they said So, that. yeah, I'd like to play with that, but sure. most shows, there's so many F-bombs, you can't right. keep up with it, but, yeah. like, maybe yeah. one or two here, we can work yeah. with it. I'll, I'll figure it out, but, uh, all right, so, next up, uh, now, it's about to get hotter. All right, guys, so, uh, okay. Mad Dog 357. Uh it's a it's a great tasting hot sauce. Uh, it checks in on the Scoville scale around three hundred fifty seven thousand. That's why it's Mad Dog three fifty seven three hundred fifty seven thousand Scoville units. It's a it's one of those creepers. It it starts out really good. It tastes like a actually maple syrup. Believe it or not. Oh boy. So we're gonna hit that up and uh and ask another. Question. JJ's like, yep. Here we go. <laughs> He's seen it happen. Are right, you guys ready? All right, Mad Dog. Again, you don't have to eat the whole wing, man. Just a bite. All right. Cheers, Beasley, cheers, cheers, Michael, cheers. Kevin, you guys ready? All right, no, let's do it. Okay. <laughs> Mad Dog 357, here we go. It, it, it tastes like Dude, something you put pancakes. on pancakes, yeah. But then... Huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Hmm. Mm. I've <laughs> got the vapors. Okay. <clears throat> Definitely. Oh, damn. <clears throat> oh, I don't know why I do this every week. Oh, oh that's hot. Yep. Yeah, that is crazy hot. <laughs> oh, he's got the hang Oh, here we go. <coughs> Kevin. All right, so we're going to jump around. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, that's bad. <coughs> you all right, Kevin? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. <coughs> Sweet wow. baby Jesus. That one's a killer. <coughs> ah, fudge. Mm -hmm. That's that's hot. <laughs> all right, so next question. <coughs> all right, Michael. Uh, Michael. Uh, we'll start with I'll Michael. Try. Kevin it's Beasley. Uh, <coughs> musical influences. Ooh. Whenever you're ready, go ahead, bro. Oh, God, that's hot. <coughs> that stuff is hot. I like a lot of punk. Mother fudger. <laughs> oh. Rock and roll. Mm. Uh, folk. Oh. Some of everything country. Mm. I'm, feeling me. <laughs> I'm gonna keep talking. <clears throat> Talk through this. Oh god. Like poster children a oh. lot. I'm gonna give a couple of props to bands that I grew up with that I really like. Absolutely. King's X. Oh yeah. They're amazing. 
how three people can make so much sound is, is pretty mm. phenomenal. Um, I don't know. Uh, I just want to take my glasses off. Thing. The Ray Bans are down. Yes. Oh. Water and milk is coming out. Kevin, musical influences. Go ahead, <laughs> man. Uh, oh, God. What's hot? King uh, eggs. <laughs> King's eggs, all right. Faith no more. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, hey. More, yeah. Epic. Uh, we mm. share a lot of influences, you know, because. Wait, what was the show we went to in Fayetteville? Well, I mean, not necessarily influences, but it was uh, oh my Green God. Fox, <coughs> Lita Ford, and Poison. I'm oh, there, oh there. wow, okay. That was not that long ago, was <laughs> it? Was, yeah, well, they did an original concert like in the late 80s. That was 88. Uh. Yeah, but then I think they all played together again some other time. Oh, yeah, I think I remember that concert. Cause I, I, oh, God, I can't talk. All right, Beasley, go ahead. <coughs> uh, musical influences? I'm sweating. Oh, a lot of '70s and '80s <sighs> bands from Zeppelin to Van Halen to um, Humble Pie. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, Grand Funk and most everything that came through the '80s, where that was guitar driven, from Mr. Big to you know whatever. Very nice. Kevin, don't rub your eyes. You're the only one not wearing glasses. Yeah. Do you wear contacts? No. You're not wearing glasses right well, now. I'm about to put them back don't on. Even oh. Yeah, well, I've, mistake. I've learned. Uh, do not rub your eyes, Kevin. Oh, God. My nose is red. This sucks. Usually there's like a <laughs> spew of profanity at this point, but, you know, I'm trying to keep it real. Yeah. Oh, God. All right, so. Uh, oh, it's like needles in the tongue. All right, so. <laughs> next up. Ah. <laughs> no next up. I don't think there's a next up for me. Oh. I'm sorry. I just can't do anymore. You tapping out? I'm tapping out. Whatever that means, tapping out. I'm Beasley, out. Beasley, come on, man. <laughs> somebody, somebody in this, somebody who Kevin. doesn't have to I think talk Kevin's going to make it to the end. We're scrogging. He might have to step in and finish some wings. <laughs> no. The tolerance level is not where it used to be. No. All right, so. The question is, why do you do this every week instead of just asking questions? It's, 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 because it's my, you're eating this every week. It's my hobby, man. It's fun to do it. I make a lot of good friends yeah. this way. And, uh, oh, God, I don't know. I, I would be, like, cursing profusely. <laughs> Scroggins. Now's the time when you drop Chris, a lot of yeah. headphones. You might have to step in here and finish this wing challenge, bro. Wow, what's up? Ooh, one more wing. Come on. Michael Beasley. One more wing. You know, and then, right. then I'll do one more. Debris, right. yeah, one more? Well, a minute. well, well let's, let's right, find we'll take out about the next. You know, sort of like when you play uh, oh, damn. game shows, and you're like, okay, the next question's worth how charts. much, and then you can't, don't answer the question, but then you find out how much it's worth. I already paid my dues. I don't know. <laughs> oh God. Yeah, these are different sauces, man. I was just back there eating peppers. <laughs> these are. Yeah. You just try to keep up with y'all. Remember, it's too fire. fresh for you, right? Dude, I'm on fire right now. Just watch it. So, so, oh, God. So, a sauce that we haven't used in a while is Blair's Ultra Death Sauce with liquid fire, liquid rage. Uh, they've got a great line of hot sauces. They're, like, tasty, but <coughs> they creep up on you. Oh, God. Uh, my glasses are steaming up. Oh, I'll edit that out. Don't worry. Oh. <coughs> it's warranted. All right, so one more wing, guys. <laughs> one bite, a nibble. I mean, then a, another a question. Keeps going down. It'd be, it'd be okay nibble. if it stayed in here, but it's going. Yeah, down. it's hot. Yeah, it's hot. <laughs> I ate the whole wing. Oh, yeah, oh, dang, dang is my favorite word now. Ding, dang, darn. All right, guys. <laughs> <laughs> might have to ask a few more questions in between. <laughs> all right, we can uh, we can we can talk some more. Uh, okay. All right, so. Uh, all right, guys. So. Ooh, that's hot. Uh, so, ooh. how much worse is this one than that one? It's Google units. Twice as much. Twice it's not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So, you get 24 hours to spend with uh, any musician of your choice, a dead or alive. You know, bring them back to life. You get one day with them. You know, kind of like you can do whatever you want. Who would it be, and what would you guys, just exclusively you and that person? Oh, God, that's hot. Damn, I forgot about Mad Dog. Um, yeah. What would you guys do? You know, it, Oh, we'll start with you, Michael, and then go around the gauntlet. 
Ooh. That's a really good question. Did you try the Mad Dog? You haven't tried the Mad Dog 357. No, that's that's the 357. That's different. Oh, no, I have no. I've got three different Mad Dogs. All right, Michael, go ahead. Um, well, the first artist that's coming to mind oh, would probably be Janis Joplin. Good answer. He's an amazing performer. I mean, she's one of those that you know had sort of an early demise, but... She was one of those that put it all out on the stage and Damn it. let her rip. So she would be one that I would, you know, just an amazing talent. So I'd, I'd love to change Member of the her. 27 yeah. Club. Yeah. yeah Gone exactly. too soon. Yeah. Gone too soon. But wow. I mean, number, to this day, like. She was number 13 on the 27 Oh, yeah. So. <laughs> Chris Scroggins, ladies numbers. and gentlemen. So, yeah, so I would, I would, I would, I would love to just talk to her and just sort of hang out. So, um, yeah. What about you, Kev? I think Steve Gaines, Skinner. Oh yeah, All right. uh, the stuff that he was, the stuff they were doing at the time was getting better. At what time? Better. Like what era? Like seventies, eighties, sixties? Before the crash. Yeah. You know, 70s. Oh yeah, okay, seventies. Right, right, right up before. Yeah. Yeah. I I grew up with Skinner, yeah. and uh, Skinner. That's uh, Freebird. That, that stuff was getting better and better <laughs> up until you know the crash. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. Great answer, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Beasley. It's tough because there were so many that left too soon. But being a drummer, John Bonham, because I always Great answer. wonder where his career would have gone had he not passed away. Yeah. Jimi Hendrix as well. I mean, I was what, kind of, what kind of music would he have been making 20, 30 years later? Yeah. You know, yeah. Oh. With, with modern day production Amazing. techniques and things like that, who knows? Yeah. I mean, like a lot of bands and musicians that have made it that long, 25 years plus, I mean, it's yeah. a, you see the early stuff, and, and like now it's like, yeah. Like it's Smith, way, where they started and what they sound like now. It's absolutely. It's really completely different. Yeah, you know, yeah, Metallica. Yeah, Metallica. Yeah. Development is, and and I guess maybe maybe being a little older, I think it's more important to see artist development. It's interesting to me to see artists that have been around twenty or thirty years, like how they've evolved. You know, absolutely. So yeah. When you when you see natural talent, like what you know these guys are talking about too, like musicians that just gone too soon, it doesn't makes you it blows your mind to think about what they could be doing now. You know, so. Gonna, so my current man crush is Dave Grohl of Foo Fighters. Uh, Great. I would love to spend like a, this guy bit. Oh shit! Oh sorry, I didn't That's mean to okay. curse. Shoot. <laughs> uh, so uh, watching this guy evolve from Nirvana as a drummer to lead frontman of Foo Fighters and all of his other projects, it's like uh, man, I would just love to hang with uh, Dave Grohl for a day and just not forget music, just. Talk, yeah. you know, and uh, yeah. he, he seems like, a, ooh, that's hot. Mad Dog sucks. Uh, like he's an, it seems like, oh, you all right, hey. Kevin? Yeah. <laughs> that was just seems like a really concurred. cool guy, man. And, uh, <laughs> he, yeah. Was that a concur? I concur. <laughs> he's a yeah. family guy. We've all made our mistakes, just like whoever. But uh, it'd be cool to hang out with him and just shoot. And he the grew up in Virginia too. I mean, yeah. Yeah. when he does interviews and talks about his upbringing, I always feel like, wow, you know, like. We shared a lot of the same uh, bands that we saw growing up and stuff like that. Yeah. It's, it's crazy because he moved, you know, most people think of him as from Seattle, but no, he's, no, he's not like at all. a local. Yeah. yeah. He, yeah. yeah so. And I thought it was great when they, I saw an interview with him. What was the documentary? Sun Sun City is that? Sun, Sun uh, Wait, what yeah, is yeah, the studio yeah, that Sonic Highway? No, no, the uh, studio that he did a uh, documentary on. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I know Sun I, City. Is I, it? Can't, I can't. It's remember. something city. Something, like something city. along those lines. Sound City. Sound City. Sound city. Sound yeah. city. Yeah. And he had all these people trying to give him advice. I got it. <laughs> to give him advice on how to do this Say that poor documentary, time, real fast. he said, I, "I don't want anybody's advice. I want to figure it out on my own." Absolutely, yeah. That's how I've done everything else in my in my life. And he had an award-winning documentary. Yeah, and it, that I came think from. I think that uh, he he is not even a music theory guy. I think he learned right. uh, to play by ear, guitar, and he's, he, his exactly. quote where he says, "Just go suck somewhere. Just go in a garage and and sound. Just do your thing." He said, "If you pay attention to his guitar playing, he's playing drums on right. the guitar. Yeah, so it's rhythmic. His approach yeah. is very yeah, yeah. He's, yeah he's so, a good and one. it's made him it notice." So I've had you know different people that I've referred to, but today it's Dave Grohl. All right, so guys, we gonna do one more wing? All right, because I don't. 
you guys can't all tap out. You know, well, somebody's got to, Chris, somebody's got to finish this with me. Chris is like, no, nah, not today. No, y'all can't tap out. Y'all are just talking real good. Y'all are good. All right, so, uh, <coughs> all right, so let's, uh, let's at least push through one more wing. I'll, I'll you know, nibble on one. It's a, you know, if you guys, it's cool, man. Uh, you know, yeah. when we're done, uh, we'll so get your plug and talk about, you know, whatever you guys are up to. And I will go from there. Um, I'm not going to give you a hard time. Usually I, I give most people a hard time, but I will not today. Because, oh, I'm still feeling that mad dog. Oh, yeah, give me so a hard time, but I'm a big guy. <coughs> I can take it. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, I can take it. I know. I'm the age, like, you know, rag me, rag me. It makes yeah, we're hitting difference. the middle stages of life now, and it just doesn't work. It's all good. Kevin, you, I'm going to mess with Kevin for a second. All right, so uh, Days of Thunder. Uh, uh, Robert Duvall. Is it Robert Duvall? Yeah. 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 Yes. That so, scene where he's, like, talking to the car, like, I'm going to shave you down and make yeah. you fast and make you quick and you know that I can see you being that guy in that movie if you yeah. get a haircut yeah, yeah. this is not what I wanted to hear from you <laughs> <laughs> that was the quiet story yeah, yeah the, but the quiet man. the quiet like the quiet genius For sure. you know I can oh, I yeah. would love to see you man uh, shred on the bass but uh yes. yeah, or guitar or whatever but and you uh, know how people are like the people who don't speak so much when or, they do say something you yes know, Huh? You pay oh, attention. Yeah, yeah that's you like listen. Wisdom. Yeah, you so listen. Yeah, that guy. but I see you like like that that like genius kind of yeah, guy. Yeah. All right, so all right, you guys. All right, we're gonna do another wing. Is this genius? Is this genius? I don't know. This is not. This is very smart. smart. All right, so. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh God! All right, so we're gonna do Blair. Wow, all right, well, hold on. Wait a second. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's. Uh, all right, so we've agreed. This is. Pretty much the last wing, right? Got to be. Got to All right, so let's do the any mini mighty mo challenge, and um, okay. between the the four remaining wings, I'll go any mini mighty mo, and whatever we land on is what we'll do. How about that? Agreed. <laughs> you only live once, man. I mean, it depends on what the where the the, 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 mo, the effects of something know. hot is like yeah. seven minutes. Oh, no, I mean. Yeah. All right. So, uh, what what's the I mean, well, what's the mystery? mystery. <laughs> all right. So, guys. So, let's let's uh, deal. Okay. Agreed. Okay. Yeah. Well. All right. All right. Michael. Okay. Beasley. Kevin. I, I can't promise you nothing. Uh, come on. <laughs> you only live once. All right. So, all right. So we've got basically four wings left. Four sauces. Uh, we're gonna just like randomly pick one, and then finish this up. And it's cool, man. Uh, it's hot. It's 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 cool. It's hot. Yeah, it's it's hot. It's cool. And then you guys get your plug. Oh, yeah. oh no! Oh. Damn! It's I'm trying not to curse but not, profusely. Hey, I still gotta eat this pepper, by the way. You're, so, you're, good luck to you. All right, you guys ready? All right, so uh, it's like grade school, you know. All right, let's. Uh, by the way, there's X bomb on the table. If you guys, you know what? I'm gonna crack one open. Mike Baker, regional <laughs> sales manager, we love you, bro. Keep drinking my milk. There's more milk if you need some. All right, so all right. Oh, so we're gonna do the any mini mind. We're gonna call this the. Kick that chair out of the way. Start though, like, can you start with the Texas Pete or does it? No. Or is it the remaining? It starts right here. All right, so it starts with. It starts with pain. By the way, my favorite favorite moment from the last show was when I kicked two chairs over and then Chris kicked his chair over and said anarchy. That was pretty cool. Made me laugh. All right, you guys ready? All right, so here we go. Eeny, meeny, money, mo. Catch the tiger by its toe. If it hollers, let it go. Eeny, meeny, money, mo. My mother said that you are the best one, and you are it. Thundering hurt, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. okay. My good one. Uh, now. Thundering hurt. He's the guitarist. <laughs> He's the guitarist for a band called Thundering Herd. Uh, so uh, he grows his own Carolina Reapers and uh, makes his own hot sauce. Actually, uh, oh, around August, September is when he, he uh, like harvests that stuff. Uh, so now there is a classic thing in, in the show where uh, we say, you know, f you, Mike. So because in, it, it's like it, it's just something we do. So, yeah. so, so, we're, gonna, so we're gonna say f you, Mike. If you like. Your hot sauce sucks. It's hot. Is um, the right finger? No. Yeah. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to finish it out on that. You guys get your plug, and uh, it's been a great show, man. Thank Michael. You. Absolutely. Kevin. Thank you, James. Beasley. 
Thank you. Well, <laughs> so it's the middle wing, okay. right? This one right here. You guys ready? It looks so innocent being dry. It does. The but all right, here's the thing. The all right, deceptive dry wing. Let's eat the whole wing. I mean, you only live okay. like once. You know, it's like you'll never do this again. You're right. right? You guys <laughs> ready? He's like, again. you're right. <laughs> I will not. All right, so let's do it. You guys ready? Oh, you got here. Let's trade wings. It's a little too big. It's a little big. Yeah. Like, yeah. All right, so all right, let's do it. All right, you guys ready? Thundering hurt, Mike Goodwin. Let's do it. This sucks. Yeah. And then final question, and then we're done. Uh, oh my god, uh, it's hot. <coughs> oh god. I'm not going to take that last little bit. <laughs> but knew it. <laughs> you did, man. <laughs> I could. <clears throat> oh my god. Oh my god. Uh. It's not that bad. I think we might have killed our taste buds already with the Blairs so or whatever. That mad dog. Powderized. <laughs> that's the that's what I was thinking. I think that's it's already been killed from the previous. Yeah. And that's been done before. We've killed taste buds in this show. It's like, uh, <laughs> shit. Oh, shoot. Uh, all right, so. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> all right, so. Uh, and that's one Hotter ones, another one in the books. Oh, Michael. Right. Thank you, sir. James Kevin's still was, like was, <laughs> Kevin's liking that. Uh, yeah, you right. know, Beasley. It's that Thanks, brother. Storm. Thank you. Kevin. Kevin. Oh, Kevin. <coughs> we'll do this. Then you get your plug. <clears throat> Final question. All right. Oh, <coughs> it's hot. <coughs> Chris is like, yeah, I'm chilling out. <laughs> I'm in there. He's in the yearbook. There. All right. So, uh, all right. Final question, and then uh, we'll do a plug and, and go from there. All right, so uh, uh, we'll start with Michael. Kevin's still eating That's his me. wing. I mean, Kevin, you all right? Got to take it slow. It's good, right? He wants to savor every moment. All right, so 10 seconds to live. What do you say? Go. 10 seconds to you live. You can't what think do about I say? it. Yeah. It's, I've, I've done the best I could. <laughs> I don't know. Kevin? <laughs> Profanity. <laughs> uh, do you, you actually say the word profanity, or what do you actually say? Like, <laughs> you say profanity. <laughs> profanity. Beasley. You drop lots of f bombs. Yeah. Then I would end it with a bye. Bye. <laughs> See ya. That's it. That's it. Ten All seconds. Right. I mean. <coughs> Classic line for me, Crow Kozak, alumni of the show, and quite a frequent guest, Chemical Lizards, clear my browser. <laughs> All right? <laughs> All right, guys. All right, so uh, we're going to we're gonna drop the mics and um, get, in the, get in the corner, get a plug, and uh, talk about what's coming up and what's about to happen with you guys, uh, Michael Daughtry and Rick. All right, so uh, this one right here. Real quick, because yeah. I do have this paranoia about wiping my eyes. Pretty good. Uh, the microphone's got me. Yeah, don't do it. Yeah, no, please do not. Yeah, this well, is gonna be It's like the band says, <laughs> don't do it. This is like. How many do you have? Oh. Hey, there we guys, hotter ones. Uh, I'm, I'm proud to say, this is our first PG rated show. It may actually turn out good. You know, it's like. I can't believe that I did not say fuck. We've got a show at um, Wall of Sound in Durham. Uh, we'll be playing with Mecca Bowl. Oh, I know those guys. Great friends of mine. Good friends of mine. Service. Thank you. Thank you. 
Uh, the 20th, we'll be playing in Raleigh, uh, downtown at Deep South the Bar. Uh, that's at 9 o'clock. We'll be playing with Steve Hartso and the Beacon Souls and Cosmic Yeah, nice. yeah, Cosmic and Punk. Cosmic Punk from Chapel Hill. Be there. Um, next up, we've uh, I'm doing a show in Chapel Hill at a place called Cafe Driad, August the 4th. I want to give a short plug to a show that I do, a monthly radio show in Carborough called Licks and Lyrics, where we interview singer-songwriters. Chris, you should be on there sometime in the fall. Yeah, okay, <laughs> and um, that's all we've got coming up. The next, oh, we're doing Centerfest and SparkCon in Raleigh, Durham on September 15th. Uh, Carborough Music Festival, September 30th, and other dates to come. Check us out, we're on Facebook. Twitter, Instagram, Michael Daughtry Music is the handle. Guys, again, thank you so much, Michael. Pleasure. I'm Kevin. Pleasure. Beasley. Hey, thanks for having me. Man, guys, uh, Hotter Ones, another one of the books. Uh, we didn't make it all the way, but it was a good show. Great sit down. <laughs> That's good. Cut. Don't cry, sunshine. I won't leave you alone. Blow through the turnstile. Bye.